Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the spherical mirrors. See, the spherical mirrors are the uh, small cut part of a sphere. After hollow sphere, if you take a hollow sphere and if you consider it cut, then the spherical mirrors are a cut part of a hollow. See, you consider this as a, a sphere which is hollow. If you consider a small cut part of this, so that is the spherical mirror. So if the convex surface is silver coated, actually this is a glass. So if the convex surface is silver coated, then we call that mirror as concave mirror. And in the same way, if you consider the concave surface silver coated, then this mirror is called as convex mirror. That means if the reflecting surface is concave, then it is called as concave mirror. If the reflecting surface is convex, then that is called as convex mirror. So these are the two different spherical mirrors. And now let us discuss some uh, terms which are related to the spherical mirrors. Let us see the terms related to spherical mirrors. Terms related to spherical mirrors. So if you consider a concave mirror, yes, for this mirror, there is a midpoint. So the midpoint of the spherical mirror or concave mirror is called as, that midpoint is called as pole. So pole is the midpoint of the concave mirror or convex mirror. And as we have discussed before, this is a part of a sphere. Spherical mirror is a part of a cut part of a sphere. So for this sphere, there will be a center. So that center is called as center of curvature, center of curvature. So we can say like this, actually this is the mirror, no? So the center of an imaginary sphere, here actually this is a mirror. So we are imagining that as sphere. So the center of a, or the midpoint of a imaginary sphere is called as center of curvature. And now, if you draw a line joining this center of curvature and pole, this line is called as principal axis, principal axis. And now, if we draw a line parallel to this principal axis, the line which is parallel to principal axis, after reflection, it will pass through a point. This point is called as principal focus. This point is called as principal focus. See, not only there, here also if you draw a line which is, or a ray which is parallel to this principal axis, this ray also will pass through that focus only. So that point is called as principal focus. And if we draw a line from the point of incidence. This is the point of incidence of this ray. If we draw a line from this point of incidence to center of curvature, this is called as normal. This is called as normal. And here also we can consider a normal. This is the point of incidence. So the line joining the point of incidence to the center of curvature is called as normal again. So how many rays or incident rays are there? So from the point of incidence to the center of curvature, if you draw a line, that will be the normal. And now, if we consider the distance between this pole and the principal focus, the distance between pole and principal focus is called as focal length. This is called as focal length. 
and in the same way the distance between the center of curvature and pole the distance between center of curvature and pole is called as radius of curvature radius of curvature and if you consider the rays close to the principal axis if the rays are close to principal axis those rays are called as paraxial rays paraxial rays if the rays are close to principal axis they are called as paraxial rays and if the rays are far away from the principal axis they are called as marginal rays marginal rays far if they are far from principal axis they are called as marginal rays if the rays are close to principal axis they are called as paraxial rays and now oh, one more important thing if you take a mirror see here this is a this is a concave mirror so for this concave mirror there will be a radius and it will have a diameter also so the diameter of this mirror is 5 cm so this 5 cm uh, is called as aperture of this mirror see the an, the diameter of an enclosed circular area the diameter of an enclosed circular area is called as aperture the aperture of this mirror is 5 cm not only mirror lenses also lenses and camera lenses will have their own aperture so if you take consider a mobile it will have a camera and that camera also will have its own aperture like aperture of a phone camera may be of 2 cm or 1.5 cm so that means where the incident light can be incidented wherever the light is incident on that mirror see if you consider this mirror the light will incident on this enclosed area so this complete area is called as aperture and the diameter the diameter is 5 cm so the diameter of an enclosed area of a mirror is called aperture of that particular mirror and now uh, here in this ray diagrams we will consider all paraxial rays so as we are considering the paraxial rays here the aperture is negligible and the angle of incidence nearly approaches zero as the rays are paraxial the aperture is negligible and the angle of incidence nearly approaches zero so these are the terms which are related to the spherical mirrors see here we have discussed that a spherical mirrors are the cut part of a halo sphere glass so if we consider a concave mirror the convex surface will be silver coated so it acts as a concave mirror if you consider a convex mirror concave surface will be silver coated so it acts as a convex mirror and the midpoint of a mirror is called as pole and the midpoint of an imaginary sphere is called as center of curvature and if you draw a ray parallel to principal axis that ray will pass through a point uh, how many rays we draw that all rays will pass through after reflection they will pass through a common point that common point is called as principal focus this is the principal focus and if we consider a line which is joining from the point of incident to the center of curvature that line is called as normal so wherever there is a point of incidence and from there we have to join to the center of curvature then that will be the normal of that particular point of incidence and the distance between this pole and principal focus is called as focal length and the distance between pole and center of curvature is called as radius of curvature and the rays which are close to principal axis are called as paraxial rays and the rays which are far away from the principal axis are called as marginal rays so these are the terms which are related to the spherical mirrors thank you